Hello, third graders. Welcome to our week four technology class. And I have some friends that want to say good morning to you guys. <laughs> good morning, third graders. I miss you guys. Um, welcome to technology class. <laughs> I know, puppy, you're so excited and so hyper today. And also, we have another friend. Good morning, everybody. It's me, Lego Man. And I'm happy to be with you. And I would like to welcome you to third grade technology class. Woohoo! Can you believe it? We are on week four. You guys are awesome. Yes, they are awesome. And this week, we're going to be doing something very special. We are going to be learning how to have bubblegum brains. Is that, would you guys like to have a bubblegum brain? I like to chew bubblegum, but a bubblegum brain? What, what is that? Bubblegum brain? Well, you're about to find out. And after we read our story, we are going to be typing up our own story. So you guys are going to put those typing word skills to work this week, and you're going to be typing up your own stories. But let's see, before we get to that, let me just quickly review where we are at since we're in week four. So I'm gonna just scroll up to the top and I'll just remind you guys in case you um, weren't able to do anything yet. Um, during our first week, we had a welcome back and we read a story and then your homework was technology helping our world. Um, so you were supposed to draw or write some ways that technology helps our world. During week two, we moved into Microsoft Word and Google Docs and we created a vocabulary table and you guys sent in some super amazing, beautiful vocabulary tables. In lesson, uh, in week three, we did second step lesson one. And we also started with our typing account. So everybody got a typing account in third grade tech. And you were supposed to complete the typing assessment. So it looks like about 33% of you completed the typing assessment. So if you didn't do it yet, please do it this week. Because guess what? We now have a skill builder that we're doing this week. So please uh, make sure that you do both of these. Um, and this is really good practice typing for you guys. And they, it shouldn't take you that long. These are pretty quick typing lessons that you can do. My suggestion would be to just set aside one day a week to be your technology day. So it could maybe be on a weeknight. Um, it could be on a weekend. Whatever works for your schedule, make one day a week your technology day. And then you can spend some time going in and doing your typing. And you can also do the assignment that I have planned for the week. And I, these things are not meant to take longer than, I would say 20, 30 minutes at the most. Uh, most of the weeks, it should just take you like 10 or 15 minutes. So um, yes, please make sure you set aside a day to get done your technology work. And then you guys will do amazing, okay? All right, so let's read our story. And then after we read our story, I'm going to show you guys a few different things. I'm gonna show you how to save a file. And I also am going to show you how to type up a story, um, adding a title and all these different things, okay? So this is the, the title of our book that we're reading, Bubblegum Brain. So I don't have this in digital, so I'll just kind of hold up the pictures after I'm done reading it, okay? So he says, I have a bubblegum brain. I have a brick brain. He said he has a brick brain. Mm. I like to chew on my thoughts, flex, bend, and stretch my brain and expand the way I think. I make great mistakes, but they help me learn. So that's what bubblegum brain says. It says all his mistakes help him learn. With me, things are the way they are, and they're probably not going to change much. I am the way I am, and that's just how it is. That's Brick Brain. Look at Brick Brain. I'm seeing if, you, if I'm putting it up close enough. That's Brick Brain. He's very, very close. He's like in a box. He just thinks, that's how it is. Hey, this looks fun. This looks hard. 
I can't wait to try this. What if I fall? It takes a lot of balance. This is so hard. Hmm, are you guys starting to notice the difference? Bubblegum brain is very positive about things, right? Brick brain is very negative. Well, there he is. I hope you guys can see the pictures. I'm just kind of showing you. Okay. I love to play baseball. Me too. I've been working on my hitting. Relax, watch the ball all the way to the bat and swing right through the ball. Don't strike out, don't strike out, don't strike out. Well, at least I have the highest batting average on my team. So there they are playing baseball. I just can't figure this out yet. The power of yet. So Bubblegum Brain is trying to ride on a unicycle. And he's, he keeps falling off, but you know what he says to himself? I just haven't figured it out yet. Brick Brain's trying to ride on a unicycle. Do you know what he says to himself? I can't figure this out at all. And now, so look, there they are. See? So it's definitely a different attitude, right? They have a very different attitude. Here's Bubblegum Brain. This new song is so cool. I hope I can figure out how to play it because if I can, I'll be able to play just about any song out there. Then I can jam. So he's learning how to play the accordion. Now this is Brick Brain and he says, there's no way my accordion teacher can expect me to play this song. It's way too hard for me. There they are. Crash, boom! Hey, look, I just made another great mistake! Splat! This stinks, literally! Math homework isn't my favorite. This math assignment looks like a brain stretcher, and it's huge. It's going to take some time to get this one done. Math homework isn't anybody's favorite. There's absolutely no way I'm going to get all of this done by tomorrow. It's way too hard. Seriously, I can't even do this. Why even try? And look, there they are doing their math homework. Hmm. Again, very different attitudes, right? I've been working hard on my free throws in basketball. In the past, I haven't done so well. But now I practice shooting them every day for 15 minutes so I can get better. I stink at free throws, but I don't ever worry about that part of the game because I'm really good at defense. Yeah, but imagine how good you'd be if you were super fantastic at both. And they're playing basketball. Here I go again, only this time I have an idea. There's no way I'm ever getting on that unicycle again. This is hopeless, forget it. Only weird people ride unicycles anyway. I quit. Oh my goodness, he quit learning how to ride the unicycle because he said, oh, I keep falling off too many times. Studying for my Spanish test all week really paid off. Maybe next time I should start studying early too. Bubblegum Brain got an A on the Spanish test. I totally aced my test. Spanish is easy. I probably won't even need to study for the next week's test. And he got a B minus. This is so fun, just try. I can't do it. I stink at it big time. I did try, it's too hard. Well, try using your bubblegum brain. I don't have one says he doesn't have one. Yes, you do. Everyone does. Your brain only looks like a brick, but just peel off your bubblegum wrapper. See, it isn't even that thick. Now your brain is free to grow and hope and stretch and bend. Look, he took off the wrapper off of his brain and he has a bubblegum brain under there. You see it? Get rid of that fixed mindset of yours. 
and the possibilities will never end. Now that you've peeled off your wrapper, your hope can start to grow. And what you are learning becomes a lot more important than what you already know. Look. You can chew on your thoughts and stretch your ideas and take charge of how you think and add a yet to every I can't that you have. And don't ever stop at I stink. You need to tell yourself it's okay to make a lot of great mistakes. Once you feel like, like what it's like to have hope, you'll be amazed at the paths you can take. It's not about how much talent you have or how much stuff you can do. What matters most is how hard you work and at becoming a better you. Well, riding this unicycle isn't going to make me a better me. True, but learning how to train your brain to ride a unicycle will. Besides, it's fun. Now try it again. Only this time, use your bubblegum brain. I just can't do it. Boom, splat, crash. You mean you just can't do it yet? I just can't do it yet. Now you're getting it. Wow, he actually said it. He's starting to get the hang of it. Hey, what if I try this? Woohoo! Look how far I went. Oops. I, I, I meant to say, I wonder how far I can go next time. Now that's more like it. Wow, he's really starting to get the hang of this. Look, he's on his unicycle and he's getting better at it. This bubblegum brain thing might actually work. I think it's actually pretty fun. The sky is the limit when my wrapper is off and my brain isn't stiff like a brick. <laughs> Look at him, like a little bubblegum parachute. I realize now that my mindset's been stuck. I was caught up in what I was seeing. Now I know I must look outside the box because becoming better, because, be, sorry, because becoming is better than being. So remember, becoming is better than being. I get it now. In order to grow, there are choices I need to make. I need to become a more hopeful thinker. And I need to make some great mistakes. So he needs to make some great mistakes. Hey, wait for me! I think I'll try to go a little bit farther this time. And a little bit farther and a little bit farther. Should we try playing our accordions while we ride? You're kidding, right? Look, let me show you guys the pictures. So look, there they go. He's on his unicycle. And then, can you see it? Let me see. It's hard for me to see if you guys can see it, but he's like, let's hold right on you. Um, look at this. Look, they're on their unicycles with their accordions. I love that story. So such a great story because when we are learning something new and just like you guys, when you are now in third grade, you're, you know, there's more things that you have to do, right? Maybe at home, we know at school, right? It's different, you're becoming more independent. And part of that means that you have to learn how to have a bubblegum brain. Don't be afraid to make a mistake because it means that you're learning. And, you know, kids that are open and they always have hope, you know, no matter what happens, oh, you know what, so what? I messed up this time, I'll get it next time, right? The way that they think, if they have that kind of positive, hopeful thinking, they have a lot of a better time dealing with things when it doesn't go the way that they wanted it to go, or maybe it just didn't work out, right? And they always have a hope that next time it's going to be better. And this is something that I think is really important for you guys to start thinking about now. You can ask yourself, what kind of a brain do I have? Am I more like bubblegum brain or am I more like brick brain? And then you can challenge yourself like this week, you know, maybe there's something coming up 
um, that you need to do or something that you really want to learn. Like, you know, maybe you want to learn how to do the monkey bars at the playground, but that's hard, right? Lego man, do you want to tell them your story? Yeah, I want to hold up my arms like this. Okay, so um, I really wanted to learn how to do the monkey bars at the park and I kept hanging on the first one and then I would fall off because I couldn't stretch and get to the next one. So then what I did is I kept asking if I could go back to the park and I kept doing it and doing it and trying and trying and trying and trying. And guess what? Now I can swing across so quickly. I'm so proud of myself because I didn't give up. And I know that it's the same thing with you guys. There's something that you want to get better at. And I just want to tell you, don't give up. You will get better at it. You just have to keep practicing and practicing and practicing and you'll get better at it. And you'll have a bubblegum brain. So do not, whatever you do, do not get a brick brain and have an attitude where you, oh, oh, everything is so bad. Everything is so hard. Do not become like that, okay? You need to have a bubblegum brain. Okay, guys? All right, love you guys. Anyways, let me get Mrs. Erica. Yes, you're right, Lego man. Thank you for sharing that. So let's go now. I want to tell you guys about the story that we're going to be doing. Your story is going to be called Bubblegum Brain. And guess what I'm going to ask you to write about? Well, actually type about, You're going to, because you're going to be typing this. I'm going to ask you to type about something you failed at, but kept trying and trying and became better and better at. What was it? How did you feel when you first tried and failed? What did you do to get better and better? And how did you feel when you finally figured it out? So this could be anything. I mean, it could be riding a bike, roller skating. It could be math. It could be learning an instrument. Um, whatever it is, um, come up with something. Gymnastics, you know, maybe you always wanted to do a cartwheel. Um, pick something that you want to share in the story about a time when you failed at something, but you just kept trying and trying and you got better and better at it. So I'm going to um, go through how I want you to do this. So you have a choice. If you have Microsoft Word at your house, you can use Microsoft Word. So I'm just gonna open up Word really quick, just to show you. So if you do use Microsoft Word, when you open up Microsoft Word, I would like you to the first thing you do, save your file. So inside of third grade weekly to do, I put this how to save as, just because I want you guys to learn how to save. Because the last thing I would want is for you to start typing something and then maybe the computer shuts off or something happens and you lose everything. So first thing you always do is save your file. So I just typed up this little um, chart to show you how to do it. So you click file, save as, so you go to file, save as, and then let me go back to my page, click computer and browse. So it might be a little bit different for you. For me, I just click on browse and then I can choose where I wanna save it. So I would say the best thing would be just click on the desktop and save it on your desktop. So click on desktop right here. Then you have to give it a file name. So I'm gonna save Mrs. Erica's word story. And then I'm just gonna press save. And then if you look up here at the top, you'll notice it's saved, Mrs. Erica's word story. So now if say, you maybe you wanna start the story and then you wanna finish it another day or later on, you can just press this little save button right here. And then when you close it, it'll be saved and you can go back into your file again and you won't lose your work, okay? So I just put this little helpful chart since I'm obviously not with you guys in person, normally we'd be in the classroom and I would have everybody do this and we would go through it together. So you're going to have to just kind of practice at home. So make sure your file is saved, okay? Now, if you choose to use the Google Drive, which you can, you'll go to new Google Doc and open it up. And the way to make sure it's saved in your Google Drive is to just give it a title up here. So again, I could do the same title. So now I know my file is saved, Mrs. Erica's word story, okay? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the steps here on the weekly to-do. So my first step says to save, which we already did that, 
type your heading, first and last name, word story, and the date. Okay, so I would do Mrs. Erica, word story, and then I would do October 8th, 2020. Okay, now let's see what else it says. Now it says skip two lines and then click centered. So let's see, if my cursor is after 2020, I'm gonna press one, two, with my enter button on the keyboard. And then if you guys remember, um, up here, you, there is something called a line left, center, right align. So we're going to press the center button. So you'll see in a minute, the center button will make our words that we type stay in the center of the page. And we like this for a title, excuse me, because it, it looks nice when the title is in the center of the page, right? So I'm going to then, it says type your title, Bubblegum Brain. So I'm gonna type bubble gum brain. And now I have my nice title. Um, and then it says skip two lines and click a line left. So again, I'm gonna press one, two, enter. I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna click for the align left. So it brings my little cursor back to the left. And then I'm going to look on the keyboard and I'm going to press the button that says tab. So this place is a nice little indent. So when we're typing something, it looks really nice when each of our paragraphs has a nice little indent, right? So you know where it's beginning. And so then we can start our story. So I would just use, if you would like to just use this as your first sentence, something I failed at. So I'll just kind of start typing it so you guys can see. Something I failed at. I'm just copying right from here, but kept trying and trying and became better and better at, but kept trying and trying and became better and better at was dot, dot, dot. So now this is where you're going to type your story. So I want you to tell us what was it? Tell us what happened. Tell us how, you, how did you feel? What did you do to get better? And how did you feel when you finally figured it out? So I'd say about four sentences, okay? You can do more than four sentences, but minimum four sentences, okay? Oh no, what happened? I lost everything here. I lost my heading, everything. I don't know how that happened. Let me see. Oh, bummer. Alrighty, well, somehow I lost my heading. That's okay. Let me just do it again, just so you guys can see. Um, so then I want you to be thoughtful. I would really love to hear um, about your stories because I love hearing when kids don't give up. Because I think, you know, childhood should be a fun time where we, are, we aren't afraid to make mistakes. If anything, during childhood, we should be looking to say, okay, you know what? I, may, I, I wanna make a lot of mistakes because why? because I want to keep learning and know that I'm learning, right? Imagine if you just were born and you knew everything, right? The day you were born, you're like, oh, I know how to talk, walk, climb, read, you know, oh yeah, I, have a, I know advanced government, like I know everything. That's not how life works, right? Learning is supposed to be fun. And especially in elementary school, um, you should be having a lot of fun learning. I really want you guys <clears throat> find books that you of topics of things that you want to learn about and spend time reading those books. Um, think of activities that you want to do um, and challenge yourself to learn how to do them. Um, look at Bubblegum Brain. He wants to learn how to ride a unicycle, right? And play an accordion. So nothing is too crazy. I would say go for it because I really want you guys to just challenge yourselves to just get rid of fear. Don't be afraid to fail. You know, see it as a good thing that you're learning, even with school. You know, if you take a test and you don't get 100 on it, instead of feeling like, oh, great, now I'm just not smart and I'll never be good at anything. Instead, I want you guys to, be, to think to yourself, you know what, so what? You know, next time I'll do better. You know, maybe I missed something and you look at what you missed or maybe, and you're like, oh, that was a silly mistake, 
Or maybe you look at it and you're like, gosh, I really didn't understand that. And then you take some time and you figure it out. And then next time you really know how to do it. Why? Because you spend time and you learn from your mistake. And I think that is such a great skill. To me personally, it means more to me when a student is really genuinely trying to learn something than if they just get a hundred on everything. So, I mean, that's what I, I mean, I know I, I'm just one person here. I'm just sharing how I feel. Everybody has different feelings on things, but I mu would much prefer a positive child who loves learning and isn't afraid to make mistakes than somebody who just runs around in fear all day thinking that if they don't get a hundred on everything, their life is going to be awful and they're, they're not good and they're terrible because I know that's not true. So I hope that you guys will be able to have fun with this story. So again, you can either type it here in Microsoft Word or you can do it in Google Docs. And then if you're in Google Docs, um, you can just have your parents share it with me. And if you're in Microsoft Word, they can just email it to me. All right, so let me see. And there was one more thing I need to tell you about your assignment for this week. So everything is here, um, and I will put this in an email too. And I'll also put it on Gradely. Gosh, now I have three different things that I put it into. I put it on the website, then I put it in the email, then I put it in the Gradely. So it's everywhere. <laughs> um, the, the last thing I want you guys to do this week um, is the typing as, uh, assignment, okay? So you're gonna have your story that you're typing up and then you're gonna do your typing assignment. And I did attach here the how to save as in case anybody wants to print it out, maybe keep it. Um, it's just a good skill to know how to do, to save your files, okay? Because especially as you get older, um, the last, I mean, it's frustrating, ask your parents. If, you, if they've ever been in the middle of typing up something, especially that they had to think about it a lot and they lost it, it's really frustrating. So always save first and then start typing. All right, guys, thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Lego man, come say goodbye. Bye, guys. You are awesome. And I can't wait to read your bubblegum brain stories. I am so excited to read them. I know, me too. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.